Hi everyone, I'm Meredith Abbott, Culinary Director for Sir La Table, and welcome to On the Table. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a grilled shrimp skewer with mint pesto. This recipe is easy to make and is packed with super fresh herb flavors. I'm going to start by making the pesto first. This pesto does double duty in the recipe. It is both the marinade and the sauce at the end. It's also not a super traditional pesto, so instead of just having basil, I'm taking a springy approach to this and I'm adding some fresh parsley and mint to it. So to start, I'm gonna take my garlic clove into the food processor, followed by, followed by Parmesan cheese Parmesan that cheese. I've already grated, already but we're gonna take it even further, take it even further, and toasted pine nuts. You wanna toast these to really richen and deepen that flavor. Just gonna pop on the lid and get this started. I'm going to pulse it until it looks like sand. Since these are hard ingredients, you wanna do this step first before you add in the herbs. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to add in my basil leaves, parsley, and mint. You can use any combo or any ratio of herbs you like. I like this one for its really bright springy flavors. I'm gonna pulse this a few times before I add in my oil. Just wanna give those herbs a little bit of a head start. Now, the recipe calls for a range of a quarter cup to a half a cup of oil. Always start with the lower end of the range and then you can always increase as you need. So I'm gonna add about half of this oil in. It's pretty tight, so I'm gonna add a little bit more oil in and then I'm going to add in my lemon juice. The lemon juice acts as a natural flavor brightener. It's gonna add some nice pop and some zing and it's gonna really balance nicely with that rich nuttiness of the pine nuts and the Parmesan, as well as the fresh bright flavors of those herbs. About a tablespoon or about a half of a lemon juiced right in. And pulse again until it's kind of nice and smooth with just a little bit of texture left. One last step before it's ready to go is to taste test. Fresh spoon. The flavor is really nice already, but it definitely needs a little bit more salt to make those flavors sing. I'm just gonna start with a pinch of salt. And I do want a little bit of spice from some black pepper, again, to balance it all out. So I'm just gonna add a small pinch of black pepper. I'm gonna buzz it again until it's all combined. One last taste. Mmm, much better. Adding that little bit of salt really brought all of the flavors together rather than the flavors kind of competing with each other. So now I'm gonna take about a quarter cup of this and add it to my shrimp. I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Just enough to coat. Toss it together. The shrimp is peeled and deveined. Since I'm going to skewer them, I don't want my guests to have to do any work, I just want them to be able to eat them. Now that the shrimp is coated, I'm gonna set this aside at room temperature for 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna start grilling. My shrimp has been marinating for 30 minutes and now it's ready to skewer. At the same time I marinated my shrimp, I also started soaking some bamboo skewers. This is really important for when you are using bamboo skewers because if you don't, they can flame up and char and you don't want that. I'm gonna start threading these through, making sure I get through each shrimp twice so it stays on. As I thread, I'm going to make sure that I leave a little bit of space between each shrimp, because when they go on the grill, I don't want them to steam. I want them to get those nice little char grill marks on there. 
So maybe three, maybe four per skewer. Depends on how big your skewers are. Just like so. And keep repeating until you have all of your shrimp skewered on. I've cleaned up my space, I'm ready to grill. I've been preheating my indoor cast iron grill pan for a few minutes now. I hold my hand over it, I can feel some heat, which is great. Indoor grill pans are a great option when the weather outside is just not cooperating or you don't have space to grill. Always start by preheating and then oil your grill grates with a neutral, like a vegetable oil and use a silicone brush for this. A natural bristled brush has a tendency to melt. If you don't have a silicone pastry brush, you can always fold up some paper towels and use that to oil your grates. You might see a little smoke coming off. That's what you're looking for. It's showing that your grill pan is nice and hot. I like to get those cross hatch marks like you see at restaurants. So I'm gonna lay them across those grill grates. Grill on this first side for about two minutes or so, give or take. What you're looking for is for that bottom side of your shrimp to be bright pink and opaque, and you'll start to see some grill marks on it. So leave them undisturbed and check them at about two minutes. It's been about two minutes. A couple things that I'm looking for. One, check that the shrimp is opaque and it's bright pink, and that they're releasing from the grill. So to, just to check for the releasing, Carefully, if you can tolerate it with your fingers, pick up your skewer, yep. And if they release, they are ready to turn. So grab a few of the shrimp and flip them over, like so. Yes, beautiful grill marks, they're pink, they're opaque. I'm very happy with these. It's been about another two minutes. I'm gonna check this second side and see if they're ready. Yep, they're releasing. Onto the plate they go. And there you have it. Grilled shrimp skewers with mint pesto. Combination of flavors are sure to be a hit. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.